Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, can I fight extradition? The short answer is yes, but in the end, your fight may simply extend your stay in whatever jail that you happen to be detained in. When you're being held on a fugitive warrant and extradition is being sought, then you have two choices. You can either contest extradition or consent to extradition. If you consent or agree to extradition, then you're going to be detained until the requesting entity picks you up. There's generally no set in stone time frame for this to occur, but in my experience, the over under varies anywhere from 10 to 30 days. And if the time ticks and you don't get picked up, you're going to get released. But know that this is not going to quash your warrant or the charges in the requesting jurisdiction. It's merely going to end your courtesy hold. On the other hand, if you contest or refuse to agree to extradition, then what you're doing is challenging the process. This will require the courtesy hold authorities to verify the legitimacy of the request, and they do this through the executive offices of both jurisdictions. It's going to take time, so instead of days or weeks, you could easily be looking at months. Contesting extradition does not challenge the underlying charge in the warrant. It only challenges the process that the warrant was issued. The reason for this is because the jurisdiction that is courtesy holding you has no legal authority to quash charges from another jurisdiction. They merely have to choose whether or not to honor the extradition request. And if all of the paperwork is in order, then your extradition is likely. I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Michael A. Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe and we'll put out more.